Okay, so this is part two of the limiting reactant problem. And in this part, you have to calculate the maximum mass of copper that could be obtained from these masses of reactants. So in the previous video, we determined that the limiting reactant is Cu2S. And here we have the balanced equation. And we also calculated that we had 31.4 moles of Cu2S. So next, what we have to do is look at the ratio of Cu to Cu2S. Okay, so if you look at the balanced equation, you can see it's a 1 to 6 ratio of Cu2S to Cu. It's a 1 to 6 ratio. So that means in this step here, you have to multiply the number of moles of Cu2S, which is 31.4, times 6, because it's a 1, 1 to 6 ratio. So that means that we can produce 188 moles of copper Cu. And then the next step is you have to find the mass, because the question is asking for the maximum mass of copper. So you multiply the number of moles by the molar mass of copper, which is 63.55. And that gives you 11,947.4 grams. So obviously next we have to think about significant figures. So you should give your answer to three significant figures. So here we have 1.20 times 10 to the 4 grams. And then you can change to kilograms if you want to and it'll be 12.0 kilograms of Cu, which is the final answer.